Um, Grace with the six ninety nine super chat. Thank you for the super chat, Grace. Uh, hi, I was wondering. Oh, I like this question. I was wondering how you determine whether or not to put bedding in your puppy's crate. I'm worried that my puppy will be uncomfortable. Mm. Thanks. Great question. Very common. So, Grace, we um, uh, uh, gr bedding is earned. Uh, whether it's a bed or a blanket or whatever, all those things are earned. The first few weeks, uh, you know, the crates these days often have like a very, uh, um, you know, a simple plastic crate, plastic tray. Uh, plastic crates often are just a simple plastic bottom. So um, it's not that uncomfortable for your puppy. Obviously, we're going to be uh, very mindful of like the location that the crate is in. And I want you to be moving that crate around with you throughout your house or get a couple of crates in the common living areas of your home. That's uh, a much easier. A lot of puppies will just lie it. like on the bottom of the whelping box when they're puppies. Right. Like it's, yeah. they're pretty normal. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, used to it. For sure. But the, the way you're going to start introducing uh, your puppy's bedding is if your puppy hasn't had accidents in their crate uh, in you know a couple of weeks, let's say, I mean, it's it's going to be sort of a sliding scale depending on their success. But um, you don't want to rush in with blankets and they start having accidents and you think, well, I guess I'm just going to have to wash blankets every day. Uh, you can remove that bedding mm -hmm. because you want to make it a little bit uncomfortable for them to have accidents in their crate. The other thing you want to be careful of is when you in first introduce bedding, make sure it's something like, you know, like a towel mm -hmm. or something that you don't mind getting ruined because your puppy might chew it. But if they don't... Almost you... all of my puppies have like tried to chew bedding right. when I first introduced it. And I, I've had a few times where they've had like a plastic crate. We've gone through the whole house training thing. House training is under control, but then I'll put a bed in, you know, uh, you know, when the puppy's a little bit older and it'll be good for a couple of days. And then I'll notice that it's been chewed on a little bit. So then I have to take it out. And then I try a few weeks later and they chew a little bit. And I have to take it out. And I sort of have to, you know, take it away if they're not ready. Cause what you don't want them to do is ingest the bedding and, and get hurt in some way. So sometimes it, and every dog is different. We have a little toy poodle. She was able to have bedding fairly early. Yeah. But then she would use to pee on her on her bedding, right. and she would push it off to the side. Yeah. And then the rest of the bed, uh, rest of the crate would be like all clean. And so uh, we had to take it out because she would pee on it for a little while. And it's not forever. No. Uh, anyways, all our dogs have really fluffy beds in their yeah, crates now. Yeah. It's a bit ridiculous, but it's just something that we do gradually based on, on the dog. But typically we wait till house training and chewing is sort of sorted out. Um, and if we put them, put the bedding in, we don't just like put it in for the first time and then leave for several hours. That's, yeah, that's a good we point. would watch and monitor and make sure it's truly going to be a safe scenario. Yeah. But don't feel bad about the puppy sleeping on a bear crate for now. No. They're, they're totally fine. And it won't it. be long. Believe me, it won't be long. Ho hopefully Our one it won't border be long. collie literally pushes his bed off to the side and yeah. then sleeps upside down without the bedding being I don't even know why yeah. I put it in there sometimes. Yeah, now you've just watched some content from our main channel McCann Dog Training and if you'd like some more training information on this topic click that card right there. If this is your first time on our clips channel and you really enjoy the short form content make sure you subscribe. Hit that button right there. On that note I'm Ken. Happy training.